In this video, I'm going to show you how to weld text together so that it cuts as one piece. So the first thing obviously you need to do is create your text. I'm just going to type the word welcome. And the simplest way is to choose your text, click the edit panel, and then just decrease your letter spacing over here on the right by clicking this down arrow until the letters are close enough together that they overlap. I'm going to make them a bit larger so that you can see this more clearly. And you can see here now that all of these letters are overlapping. So I can now right click and I can weld. So that's the most simple. Now, this type of text doesn't always look great when it's welded. Usually a script text will look better. So I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm going to create my text again. Then in the edit panel, I need to change my text to another font. And I'm going to type here in the search box, I'm going to type in LAV so that it finds Lavenderia for me, which is a script font. And I find this too thin for what I want. So I'm going to choose bold instead of regular. And again, I'm going to make it bigger so you can see what I'm doing. And I'm going to decrease the letter spacing. I could also type in a value here. I'm just going to keep clicking this down arrow until they are close enough together that they overlap. But I want to go a little bit closer because I don't want to see, you see this little square section here, if I make it bigger, you'll see. You see how there's this little square bit that's showing? I don't want that. So I'm going to go a little bit further. Now it's fine everywhere except here. So now I'm going to right click and ungroup to make each of these a separate element so that I can choose this and I can use my arrow key to move that over a little bit more. Then I need to do that with the O as well. That was a little bit too much. Then the M. That's a little bit too much. You can also use your mouse to just move it slightly. And then the E. And I'm going to do on purpose where I move that E down a little bit too far. And what I'm going to do is select everything. Now I want it all to align to the bottom. So I'm going to choose align and then bottom. And then everything lines up at the bottom properly. And then I can right click and weld. And now that will all cut out together. You'll see that wherever you have a black line, that's where the machine is going to cut. So I hope this has been helpful to you. Thanks so much for watching.